school in DeKalb County who were shot with a pellet gun when they were at school today. The kids were on the school grounds outside. Police are telling us that it seems as the pellet gun shooter was off school grounds and shot towards the students that were on the school grounds. This is a live look at Sky Tracker now. There's an enormous investigation as you've got investigators kind of around the entire perimeter of this school. Again, they believe whoever fired that pellet gun at the students was off school grounds. The, the area is, is surrounded by trees, so they're just looking for that person. The 10 kids are going to be okay. They're all at Children's Health Care of Atlanta with non-life-threatening injuries. They're either getting treated or their parents will pick them up there. What a scary day for the kids and for all those families. It certainly is. This is DeKalb County's public school police that is on the campus right now working to figure out just exactly what happened. We'll, of course, bring you that information as we get it. We do know that the school posted a statement on their website trying to inform parents and other people in the community community of what they know about what happened so far. Again, they did say that there was no uh, threat of people going into mm -hmm. the school at any point. But again, they are working this situation. You can see the cars, uh, crime scene investigative truck right there going onto campus so they can figure out what happened. Again, they are saying 10 children shot with a BB or pellet gun from off campus, which uh, is, is that much more threatening yeah. and, and, and terrifying. For and you families. think in this day and age, anytime you're a parent and you get a call about a, a, a scary incident at a school, you know, the fear that that brings and so they are taking this very seriously. We want to give you a little bit of a perspective about the school grounds because this is sort of ground zero for the investigation right now. We have an overview of the property because right now all they're telling us is the group of students were outside. This was after lunchtime, closer to one o'clock. A group of students outside. There's a playground right at the top uh, above the building, cluster of buildings, and then there are some kind of intermingled within, but the entire perimeter really uh, surrounded by trees. So a group of students outside somewhere on that school property and somebody with a pellet gun hiding off school grounds and fired towards that group of students. That main road you see in front of the entrance of the school, that's Rockbridge Road. And so many school campuses are set up this way mm -hmm. where it's almost as if the school is just a part of the community. It's right. in people's backyards, mm -hmm. so to speak. So there are very many places that you can see from this map where people could have been on the round on the periphery of that school campus. And so that's going to be a big part of the investigation for for police today as well. So what's happening right now is investigators are in the school on the school grounds, but also into the neighborhoods surrounding the school that you see on that map as they're doing a search uh, and just collecting whatever evidence they can talking to people as they can. Someone who might have seen something a, a beautiful spring day. A lot of people outside at that mm -hmm. time, of course, not just at the school. If we can go back to Sky Tracker live uh, over the investigation, there are police vehicles and uh, the crime tape. On um, out near that, that playground as well that looks like a yellow strip right there. Yeah, so that would be an indicator that they're kind of focusing their search efforts perhaps on that playground. Again, we can't confirm for certain where the kids were, but we do know they were outside and the crime tape would certainly lead you to believe it might be around that playground uh, just uh, in the in the next kind of section of the school mm -hmm. past these investigative vehicles. Another thing that we know often when we are in the middle of investigations with police, they are searching for cameras. And as we said mm -hmm. that this is a community with many houses, you can see some right there through the trees. Um, that could be uh, something that will help investigators as they, they work to figure out exactly what happened with the number of homes that seem to be around this elementary school, if that can help in piecing together what exactly happened and who might have be, uh, been responsible responsible for this. We do also know that poli uh, the school in their statement say that um, they will be having additional staff out there for the students uh, mm -hmm. throughout the rest of the week. If that uh, continues on, they say they'll have those people on site tomorrow for students. But again, this is certainly a, a very scary situation for the families, but especially the students that were there. Yeah, you just see the number of police cars responding as they continue to look for the person who had that pellet gun and shot at that group of students.